today I'm doing a spot clean on the mice and I thought I'd film it and bring you along because if you have an enclosure of this size with your mice, obviously you need to do a monthly deep clean where you take out all of the bedding, clean it, put fresh bedding back in, things like that, but in between it does require a little spot clean here and there because mice are messy, they poop a lot, they pee a lot, and the enclosure tends to get in a bit of a state, so today we're going to fix that. I do recommend spot cleaning maybe at least once a week, and I'm going to show you what that involves. So I'm not going to wake them up and take them out too clean, I'm just going to kind of work around them. The possum is awake, the rest of them not so much, but I'm sure in a matter of minutes they'll be awake once I start moving stuff. So here's an honest overview of the cage. We've got a wheel that's kind of almost tipping over. We've got this hot mess over here. The bedding just needs a general like mix around. And we've got things like this that are originally all the way over there that they've moved. So things just need a bit of rearranging. And this has become the poop corner. So that definitely needs cleaning. I need to, oh, sorry possum. <laughs> sorry bud. I need to just rearrange everything and let's get started. So the first thing of course is taking out their water and giving them fresh water. This is something that you should be doing on a daily basis but of course it's still a part of today's clean so we're going to take out the water bowl and also their water bottle which is velcroed on. And next up is the wheels. I will just take these out, take them into the bathroom and either use the shower attachment or just use a pet safe wipe. But because they have decided to poop in these and it's all stuck in the grooves and stuff, I think it's going to need a jet wash, so I will take them into the bathroom and do that. Okay, so let's sort out this poop corner. If you're spot cleaning your mice or other rodents, they tend to like to pee and poop in one corner or multiple corners, so if you're not sure where to look, check every single corner and you might find a big poo and pee pile like this one, so I'm going to sweep this up, but if you're not sure, check every single corner because this changes every single time depending on the setup they change which corner is going to be their toilet corner so although it's handy for me I tend to have to search around and find it but they've made this one pretty obvious. I'm also going to sweep on the other surfaces because they tend to get the odd poop on there too. So this could also do with a sweep because I put this piece of cork on the back and <laughs> As you can see, they have really gone to town on chewing this and the pieces are everywhere. So that is mixed in with little poops. So I also have a feeling they've made this their nest despite me putting comfier bedding in the other hide. I think they've made a nest in here. So I might also have to spot clean in there because some people say that mice will pitch a toilet far away from where they're sleeping. Mine don't tend to do that. They tend to make a pile of poop and pee right next to their nest, which is disgusting. So that is probably the need doing too. Okay, so here's what they've done. They've made a nest underneath the chamber hide and they've got a series of tunnels which has an entrance starting here and they've made a little circular nest with pieces of hay and pieces of toilet roll that they've shredded up, which is so cute. So I'm not gonna disturb that. I'm not gonna clean that or mess with that. I'm just gonna check in this corner for pieces of poop and they've also ripped up some pieces of bark, which is fine. So I'm just gonna check in this corner and see if it needs cleaning. One thing I do like to do every so often is to mix around the bedding just because there is a lot of bedding in here usually and sometimes the hay finds its way to the top and it's not as mixed as bedding as I'd like it to be so I do it for that reason and also because the top layer of substrate tends to get the most foot traffic, the most pee and scent marking and the bottom layer not so much so by mixing it together you're getting the most out of the bedding, that's how I see it anyway. <laughs> So to do that I will have to take out most of their cage items and that might mean they're a bit mixed around when they go back but that's okay because mice and rats are very intelligent 
and they do benefit from different setups. They find it really exciting to explore different layouts and stuff, so I'm not going to remember where everything was when I took it out, and that's okay because that will give them something interesting to explore and mix things up a bit. I was going to pick this up, but they've made a series of tunnels using this and well underneath which does go into their nest area, so I'm not gonna disturb that. I'm just gonna mix this bedding and all of the bedding over this side, which should do the trick. Okay, so lastly is the top of the enclosure, and this honestly is not too bad. This has become a toilet that seems really inconvenient to wake up, get out of bed, climb all the way to the top, and poop in a coconut, but if that works for them, that's fine. So that needs taking out and emptying and washing, and then I'm not sure if you can see, but the shell on the right hand side also has like three or four poops in, so that needs washing too. And of course, in the middle is a hammock, which is gonna get switched out because Inevitably, they have probably peed and pooped on this at some point. The mice don't tend to use hammocks as much as the rats do. The rats' hammocks get switched out on a weekly basis, but the mice, I'd say every two weeks, just because they don't really use them. They will climb on them and sit on them, but they don't sleep on them or use them as a toilet like the rats do, so this isn't too bad, but I will switch it out anyway. I have also just noticed one of their ropes is really loose. I think they've chewed the zip tie because it did used to be about there, so I will reattach that in a second, but to be honest, these ropes could do with a wash. I will probably wash them in a few days when I do the rat hammocks and then reattach them, but for now, I'm gonna re-zip tie this on. One thing I do also do when I'm spot cleaning is check their nesting material, so their paper bedding, and uh, that is pretty obvious when they've peed on it or not, but I think because they're not actually using this as their nest and they've been using the one over that side, this is pretty much brand new, so I don't think it needs changing because it looks pretty fine, so I'm gonna leave that for them um, because they've really not touched it. So the mice also get this supplement added to their water bottles about once a week called Daily Essentials 1 by Dr. Squiggles. And because I do make the mouse food myself, I still want to make sure they're getting the good stuff. So this just has a bunch of vitamins and minerals and that goes into their water bottles about once a week. They do still have their water bowl as their main water source with all of their fresh water, but they get this about once a week. So that is pretty much it when it comes to spot cleaning the mice. Usually it would take me about 15 minutes, half an hour. Obviously today because I'm trying to film at the same time, it is taking me way longer, but it doesn't take too long. The only thing that's left to do is add in a fresh hammock and also add in some herbs and sprays because they've eaten them all, so let's do that. So that is pretty much it, just to give you the general gist of things. Obviously some things, if I see they need doing more often, I will do them throughout the week, but I try to make everything build up so I could show everything in this video, if that makes sense. So things like the wheels, they get disgusting pretty quick, and if I see they've got poop smeared all over them, I will sort that out more often, but that is generally how I spot clean, and if you're not too sure how to spot clean, I hope that has helped. 
This month's setup is really not my favourite. I kind of just threw everything together in a rush and obviously it's kind of stayed like that. So it's not the best looking setup ever that I've ever done. I am planning a kind of big change to the mouse enclosure that should be coming sometime in the future which hopefully should improve how it looks and also be a lot more functional for them. So this is just a quick setup and it's not my favourite but this is how I've spot cleaned it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and enjoyed seeing the mice. Don't forget to subscribe. And from me and the mice, we will see you in our next video. Bye.